right, man. So look, we're back yet again with another video. So today, 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 we got the truth about Jay Z and Christianity. So now, honestly, dog, I don't listen to all these mainstream artists for a reason because they're so demonic. Now, that's not me being too churchy to listen to that. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I do listen to Drake here and there. I listen to some Rod Wave here and there. I listen to what? Well, who else I listen to? That's a mainstream artist. Um. I was listening to Kanye West, you know what I'm saying? I was listening to them, you feel me? And I was listening to Jay-Z back then, before, I don't know what he do now, but Jay-Z, I mean, he was cold back then. His music was cold. Him and Kanye together, that was an un unstoppable duo, you feel me? So, uh, this is the truth about Jay-Z and his Christianity and the way he feel about Christians. So, we're gonna go ahead and react to, it, uh, react to this. If you're not a Christian, you might you might enjoy this, you know what I'm saying? And if you are a Christian, you still might enjoy it because we always got our comebacks, you feel me? We always got our comebacks. They can't stop us, you know what I'm saying? So without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. Let's get it, let's go. Have you heard this new clip of Jay-Z explaining his hostility towards religion? No. So there's a clip, and it's something that if you've followed Jay-Z long enough, you've known this about him. And it's a clip basically explaining, and he talks about it on 444. I touch on legacy and what happened to me as far as like my grandfather, you know, and what, what he was doing with his daughter, he was a pastor. And it's like, I gotta forget that as well. As hard as that is, like as hard as that is, it's like, man, like that's deep for me. But what happens is just because a transgenerational trauma, right? Like what happens is it informs who I am today because something about him wasn't right. So I was like, man, people in religion are hypocrites. Mm. So I sought out religion to say, okay, maybe I'm not a Christian. Let me see, maybe I'm, you know, God body, <laughs> right? Okay, maybe I'm a Buddhist, mm. okay? Maybe I'm Muslim. So I got a bit of and then realize, oh, I'm just a spiritual person. Because if you walk into any one of these places, you walk into a mosque, a church, a thing, it's an altar. Mm. That's constant. Is God is an altar. Mm. Now, wait, I want to stop right there. First off, I always say this. You know what I'm saying? First, it's not about the religion aspect. You know what I'm saying? You can be Christian, whatever. First of all, yes, I am a Christian. You know what I'm saying? I do say I am a Christian. But people are so cool with me being a Christian because I'm not a hypocrite towards others. When I know I'm doing something wrong behind closed doors, I don't bash another person. If I, I can't tell another person stop smoking weed when I'm smoking weed. Now look, I don't smoke weed. I don't drink smoke weed. I might drink wine here and there, but I don't smoke weed. But I can't tell a person stop. And I told somebody just the other day, I said, never to let a Christian tell you to stop doing something that you're doing. And the reason I say that is because everybody got their own convictions. You can't tell a person stop doing what they're doing because at the end of the day, this is their life. You can lead them to the right path, but you can't make them go the path that you're going because if that's not what they want to do, that's not what they want to do. You just got to pray over them and say, hey, God, please change their hearts. Please make their hearts be reformed. Oh, man, the Holy Spirit speaking through me because, boy, I did not say all this. I promise you. <laughs> oh, I promise you. I did not say all that the day this happened. But uh, back to what I was saying, though. Uh, you you really can't like you really can't tell a person stop doing something. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, God's job is to change them. That's not your job. You know what I'm saying? Your job is just to lead, not to change. So when he say um, uh, Christians or religion, whatever he said, religion is some that's hypocrites. No, you know what I'm saying? It's not about religion. It's about the relationship that you have with God. All these people that claim they're spiritual, all they're doing is doing the things that's demonic towards the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like astrology and all that, you know what I'm saying? People that say they're spiritual, they still haven't sex before marriage. They're still doing what they want to do. They just saying, oh, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. But at the end of the day, like, I, it's not about your works. It's about the faith. But if you still diso disobedient to God, I mean, how is that you having a relationship with him? It's about relationship. Relationship over religion. I just got to get that point across. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, okay. I'd rather, I'm a small... That's where the line for me and my spirit and my soul was I'm a spiritual person. I don't know everything that's out there and I'm fine with that. You know what I'm saying? I know God exists and I'm cool with that. But that, I was informed by that because of what? And that's what people fail to realize. 
Just because you know God is this and you cool with that, bro, that don't mean nothing. The devil know God is this too. Why do you think he attacks so many Christians? Because he know God is this. He know the things that God can do in people's lives. Duh. Yeah. The actions that happened with my grandfather and, you know, so, and, and like going to therapy and like just allowed me to see that, allowed me to see that clearly and just really put things in place like, oh, I know why this triggers me and this thing. Because know why this, this triggers me. And oh, shit, that's why. I didn't just wake up one morning with the idea to, you know, study the Quran. You know what I'm saying? It came, where did it come from? Why? Why is everyone in your family is Christian? Why aren't you Christian? It's just natural. Like, if you were Democrat, why? Because everybody you grew up with is Democrat. You don't ask the question. You know what I'm saying? But because there was some trauma there, it led me to ask the question. I went everywhere and asked the question. Why is it that? Why? Why isn't this guy living up to what he said and who he said he is? And then going somewhere else and being like, okay, why doesn't that? Why doesn't everything in that religion check out? Why doesn't everything in that religion check out? And for me, it was like, oh, okay, God exists. Interesting, right? Very interesting. So I, 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 I hear that on 444, he reveals that his grandfather, who's a preacher, molested his aunt. Yeah. Right, his daughter. And, and so in that, we see that. And, and, and I've always wondered, like, why does Jay-Z have this hostility towards Christianity? Right? Why are there these little subtle little Jesus yeah, knocks? Jesus and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Life starts when a church ends and all that kind of stuff. And then you find out behind that is that that's somebody who experienced massive trauma, a scandal, yeah. you know, in his childhood, and it, and it probably ruptured his family and created all kinds of junk for them. And so to me, when we talk about those three sources from God, from the devil, from the flesh, I then can have grace on the person who is hostile towards the gospel, because it's not just, you're just hostile because you're naturally a sinner. Yeah. You're hostile and you got this monkey on your back from this, this shame attached yeah. to what happened to your family yeah. in this thing. And so, and you know, that's one thing, you know, one thing that I just had to get off my spirit was judging people. I had to realize that, you know what I'm saying? Just because a person is gay, just because a person does things that I don't do because I'm a Christian doesn't mean that they're a bad person. Just like, honestly, cause you never know a person's true, true story. Like the other day I was talking to a coworker and he was telling me the why he smoked weed and why he do the things he do. And I didn't know he was going through so much trauma in his past. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's why you can't, that's why as Christians, we can't judge because you never know what a person going through. You can still lead them to the path that you're going down, but it's up to them to take the path. Cause at the end of the day, we all have free will. That's what people feel at. We all got free will. They're not forced to be a Christian. That's on them. If they don't want to be a Christian, you just gotta keep praying for them. Pray that God change their heart eventually. You know what I'm saying? Probably half of us. People probably pray for half of us that's Christians and pray that God changed our heart when we was in the world. And now look at us. I know my parents prayed for me cause I was a terrible person. I know they pray for me. You know, I witness don't pray for me. Dinner tables and all, like, blast me out. Oh, oh I just pray that Jalen heart get changed. Like, now look at me. I'm a changed person, new man. I'm new in Christ. Simple as that. So, yeah, you never know what a person is going through. Jay-Z has some trauma that happened to him, which had his hostility towards Christianity. Now, is it wrong to blame all type of Christians for this? No. I, no, it is wrong. I, I don't know why I said no. It is wrong. You know what I'm saying? It is. But that's him. You feel me? So you never know what a person going through. I heard that somebody sent that to me and I was like, man, that's really interesting. I remember him talking about that on 444. No one's really discussed this, but within the Christian rap community, we've always kind of dogged Jay-Z and kind of been mad at him without really understanding the full scope. Yeah. And so here's somebody historically pushing back, pushing back, pushing back. And we don't really know that the source of that isn't the Illuminati and demons. Is actually trauma. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and, and I don't know if I've ever told you this the story of when I met Jay Z uh at good at a good music showcase at South by Southwest. No, you didn't. Um, I met him briefly and uh and he was on tour with Bono and you too. You know, mm -hmm. you know, Bono has like a faith background. Yeah. And he was on tour and there was multiple you you guys can Google there's multiple things of him wearing a, a shirt that says Jesus is Lord. Fam, like what's up with the Jesus is Lord? Jay -Z shirt? Had a yeah, Jesus is yeah Lord multiple shirt. pictures. I literally said, Are you trying to make a theological statement to him? 
And he just kind of looked at me, smiled, and was like, like, who is this little yeah. peon asking me this question? Uh, and he told me, I go ask Alexander Gavinci. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> was he saying to me. And so, uh, like, and I'm praying for Jay-Z, and I, and, and, I, and I have a feeling if, when and if I bump into him, I think he'll, he'll remember that, and we'll have a conversation about it. But I say all that to say, I think people are so much more complicated than of the devil or of God. Yeah, I think the devil can take advantage of situations and create generational bondage on people that then makes them even more blinded and biased against surrendering their life to Jesus. Yeah, bro, who has more of an understanding or knowledge of craftiness and wickedness than the Lord? Mm -hmm. He, you know, he's he's created, he's observing it all, right? And he if you believe that the scriptures are divinely inspired it says that satan's crafty this is this is the the goat god mm -hmm. saying he's crafty i think that's a crafty that we can't even fully comprehend mm. that is the top tier crafty mm. and it it's that crafty planting a, a, a seed that young knowing that someone observing this man who's supposed to be a man of God, who's doing X, Y, Z, and that affects a, a generation. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he's not the only one that has that scar. Mm -hmm. It's his aunt, mm -hmm. it's his mom, yep. it's, it's a Facts. whole bunch of people. It's Facts, and you know, that's another thing. It's just like, like when you, when you come across other people that's not Christian, you really just gotta realize like, okay, you might act like this because, you know, you had some type of past trauma that happened to you. You know what I'm saying? Like a person, I, me and my heart, I believe that a person is not born gay, but I believe that they had some type of experience or some type of visual that happened that turned them to the way they are. You know what I'm saying? They, they seen something they wasn't supposed to see at a young age. They maybe was raised in a gay household or even somebody in the, because, you know, a family tree runs deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, people be like, oh, I'm mixed with Indian because my great-great-grandpa, uncle, two cousins from, like, two decades ago was black. And now, you know, I mean, was Indian. And now, you know, I'm mixed with a little Indian. You it, Like, it runs deep. So, you know what I'm saying? It could run somewhere in the family where a uh, uh, great-granddad was um, gay, but nobody knew. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knew that he was gay. Or maybe he was just gay and out there. You feel me? So it can run deep that can transfer genes and generations and go on and on and on. You know what I'm saying? His mom is, 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 you know, is gay and, you know, I had something else to say, but I don't know. I had something else to say after that, but my mind just like went to a whole nother. I don't know. But she was once. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yo, you don't know what the heck, how many people from ge for generations to come will be scarred and affected by that one oh, man. that's what I was about to say. By his granddad being Christian and all that, like, that's why I say every Christian I go make it to heaven because every Christian, every Christian feels like, oh, I'm a Christian, do this, do that. No, no, it's not about no religion. Like I say, it's not about the religion. Every Christian is not going to make it happen. Just because you go to church every Sunday and praise the Lord don't mean that Saturday night you went sleeping with somebody you're not supposed to be sleeping with. You feel me? Just because you go to church every Sunday and you do what you got to do, praise the Lord, and then you go to Bible study every Wednesday or so, whenever your Bible study is, doesn't make you have that strong relationship with Jesus. Because although you might be reading the Bible in church, but are you reading the Bible out of church? Are you praying out of church? Are you fasting out of church? You know, I just started fasting. That's why I'm saying that. You know what I'm saying? I just started fasting on my own. So that's why I'm, just, that's why I'm saying that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to learn how to not be a hypocrite towards things that I'm not doing. You feel me? So... It's like, are you doing them type of things? And remind y'all, I'm only 18. So, you know what I'm saying? If God can really change an 18-year-old, he can change anybody. Jay-Z is like, what, 50? 50-something? 50 God could change his heart? And this is proof. How he how he say he's not, like, Christian and all this, this is proof that you could be successful without God's hand on it. Wouldn't you rather be successful with God's hand and more blessings come your way, or would you rather be successful without God's hand on it? Because anybody can be successful in this world. You just got to work hard and do what you got to do. But I want to be successful with God's hand on it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be successful making all this money and God's hand not on it. Because then it caused depression. Then it caused anxiety. Then it caused all types of things of the devil. That's not a God. You feel me? So. 
actions. Mm -hmm. That I'm speaking facts right now. To set a scheme up and mm. not making Satan more powerful than God, no way, no mm -hmm. how. But to set that type of scheme in motion, to see mm -hmm. the get that those dominoes lined up and get them to start falling, yeah. man, that's a crafty that our little stupid human minds yeah. can't understand. Like, yeah, whether it's Jay Z, whether it's Kanye, whether it's that person in your family that's not a Christian, whether it's that person that you gonna see over the holidays that you know is gonna say something to com yeah. to be combative and slow yeah. slick shot against your faith. What kind of heart do we have for those people? What Earn an associate's degree, RN to BSN degree, master's degree, doctoral. What kind of uh, patience can we extend to those people? How do we how do we walk that line? Of, I got to be firm and tell you the truth. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have drank like that on Drink Champs, man. That was yeah. just not a good look. And while at the same time saying, guys, like let's keep praying for people. And and I believe God can save a Jay Z. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and, and miraculously move, not because we need another rapper evangelist, yeah. just because I think God is that good and that big to do something like that. Like I just said that, literally, I just said that he he can change anybody. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you have done in your life, he, God can change you regardless. You feel me? God changed me. You thought I was going, you thought if you would have asked me a couple years ago, would I be this deep within God? I, I probably wouldn't know. I probably would honestly not know. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't know nothing about God. I mean, I didn't read the Bible. I fell asleep in church. I, I didn't care about church. I was cursing. I was trying to gang bang. I was, I was doing things that I'm just glad that I'm not doing no more. You feel me? So, you know, and, and when he said, how do you respond? What type of heart do you have for the people that comes at you because you're a Christian? Man, honestly, bro, I pray every single day for patience. When I say every day, Every day I wake up, before I go to work, before I even start my day, I, I get up, like, I might get on my phone a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I do wake up, get on Instagram. I'm not going to lie. It, I need to get in the habit of getting on my knees first and praying before I get my phone. But I pray, and I always pray for patience. So the other day, when people came at me because I'm not having sex to marriage, and they talking about, oh, they just talking about so much bull crap that I didn't care about. All I said was, God bless y'all. But I kept getting my point across, but I just kept saying, God bless y'all. My, my patience was... My patience was like super high when he came to them. Like my patience was, huh? You know, I had to, I had the Holy Spirit in me. And cares for the state of his soul. I I I would say so. Uh, being involved in the music industry and just with some things I've seen, leading somebody from the occult to the Lord, reading their literature. Right there, there is a real. Uh, uh, there's something going on in the in the music industry, not like how y'all check in the YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. There's a whole bunch of stuff that they'll say, and I'm just like, uh, this is bull. And then some of it is like, okay, yeah, this is this is for real. Mm -hmm. Um, I would still say, Satan does not have the type of power to keep someone in bondage like that. I would still say whether they're in the occult, whether they're somebody that's just hurt and, 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 you know, walking away from the Lord or, or purposely hostile to the gospel because of their pain, no matter where they are, pray for them, mm. pray for them. Cause God is that mighty to save. I've seen Satanists give their lives to the Lord. Amen. I led one to look at boom game, bro. Look at boom game. He's a prime example of how God can change you. Y'all remember Boom Gang, dude? Let me, let me, let me. Maybe y'all don't remember. Maybe y'all just don't remember who Boom Gang was. I just gotta show y'all what, like, you remember he used to go into places and steal a whole bunch of stuff. This is this is Boom Gang right here. Focus, focus. Hey, come on, focus. That is Boom Gang right there. Right up. You feel me? So. If God can change him and, and change his heart, that man's going to places preaching the word of God, spreading the good news. That's what he's been doing. Like the other day, I just seen a TikTok video. He went to a, a public restaurant, got on the table in a mall and started preaching the word of God, telling people to repent. God can change anybody. I mean, dude was on drugs. He was taking perks. He was doing all types of different stuff, killing himself, harming himself spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, being depressed. All type of stuff, now look at him. 
to the Lord, not boasting on I, you know, the Lord by his grace used me to lead a Satanist, a mm. Luciferian, not a Satanist where, you know, they're, they're, they're just claiming that yeah, they're trolling. Being, yeah, they're yeah. trolling. Yeah. I'm talking about, about someone who literally thinks Lucifer is the good guy mm. and they serve Lucifer. So, um, and have altars and, yeah. and services and all that stuff. So, everyone, man, pray for everyone. Yeah. I pray for Jay. I pray for everybody. Bro. Yeah. Thank you for watching this again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, look, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get off this video, man. This video already long enough, but all I can say uh, for the people who's not Christian, I just feel like you can't say that you're not Christian. Or No, no, I take that back. It's not about the religion. You can't say you don't have a relationship with God if you never even tried. We would try so many different things on this earth. We try so many different things. It's time that we try God. You know what I'm saying? I just read a scripture in Revelation that Jesus is coming back. He going to come in this, uh, come with the clouds. You know what I'm saying? All these things will happen. It's so many things that y'all can learn from the Bible just because you think it's man-made. It's man-made, but it was inspired by God. It was written by the disciples. It was written by people who experienced these things. Just like a, just like a history book. You realize all that stuff in the history book in science or whatever, a history class. All that stuff was written by people who experienced those things. And now they're teaching it in schools. Now people are believing that, but they won't believe the Bible. The Bible is simply basic instructions before leaving earth. And I'm going to end it right there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. It's been your boy, Japan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace. Ah. <sighs>